Hi, welcome to Adam's Farm Foods, in today's video, we will be talking about the secret to setting up a profitable piggery. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share the video with family and friends. Let's get into the video. When it comes to pig farming, I am a firm believer in starting small and going big. If you want to grow big, though, it's a good idea to make goals for how big you want to get in the future. Livestock farming in Ghana is intense. As a farmer, you are required to not only raise the animals, but also butcher and market your produce to the general public. It's critical to select a non-residential environment while deciding where to raise pigs. Because the pig business may emit offensive odors in the neighborhood, picking a farmland that is slightly rural yet close to the city is critical. If you don't want to start too small, buy a large piece of land, perhaps 5 to 10 acres. Because pigs enjoy foraging, the size of the area is critical. Allowing them to roam your pasture during the day to find their own food is a vital part of securing a vast area. Because acreage in rural areas is frequently inexpensive, purchasing a big area for pig farming is critical. The farmland's proximity to the city will also make it simple to transfer the pigs to the market. Having a farm close to the city makes it much easier for customers who choose to visit your farms for a purchase. While there are many other elements that contribute to the success of your pig farm, choosing the right location is one of the most critical. The pig pen must be constructed to keep the pigs safe from the rain, predators, and extreme temperatures. Due to pigs' extreme sensitivity to unusually heated settings, it is critical that the temperature of their enclosures be maintained at all times. A wallow or a dripping water system might be used to chill their homes. The most common usage for a hog pen is a wallow. The pig pen should also be large enough to allow the pigs to move around freely. This would not only assist to avoid pig violence, but it would also reduce the likelihood of a disease outbreak that would impact all of the pigs. The pen's drainage should also be well designed to allow for a free flow of water. Aside from drainage, tiny pig pools should be built because pigs enjoy playing in the water and using it to cool off. This water should be changed regularly, along with cleaning the pens, to prevent pests and diseases from becoming a problem for your pig farm. Purchasing healthy piglets is critical when starting a new pig farm. Their reproductive rate, as well as their mortality rate, will be determined by their health. Approaching the producers and stock breeders is one technique to purchase the piglets, also known as pig feeders. They'd advise you on the items to purchase from them, as well as what your budget allows. Pigs that have been crossbred are usually lively, have a voracious appetite, and grow quickly. For most rookie farmers, a mixed breed is the best option. It's a good idea to consult a veterinarian before buying a piglet or feeder to make sure they're healthy. A healthy piglet for a new farm should be huge, weighing at least 25 pounds. Male piglets are known to grow quicker than female piglets, therefore their growth rate is also determined by their gender. Pigs can consume nearly anything, but grains and meat are usually the best options for domesticated pigs kept for commercial purposes. While corn is one of their favorite foods, they can also be fed cooked vegetables and leftovers from the kitchen. To guarantee that the pigs grow quickly and healthily, vitamins rich supplements, and high-protein diets, which could range from soya beans to cooked meat, are preferred. Pig feed should be purchased in large quantities, with a larger portion of the protein feed set aside for senior pigs, who take more meals than younger pigs. 
their water supply should also be sufficient, as they require 2 to 6 gallons of water every day on average. Water consumption has an important role in the pig's overall health and growth, so make sure it's always available. A sprinkler, trough, or tub can be used to provide water. Because the pigs would not only drink the water, but also step on it and wash their faces and bodies in it, it is critical that it be changed on a regular basis. The pig enclosure should be cleaned on a regular basis. To prevent a disease outbreak, various techniques must be used to ensure that the pig pens are thoroughly cleaned and cared for. The use of slotted pen floors might make the garbage collecting procedure go more smoothly. This, along with keeping the pen flooring dry at all times, is critical for a disease-free environment to thrive. Pigs can grow to market size in 5 to 7 months, weighing between 70 and 100 kilograms. Pigs have a 115-day gestation period, and because each childbirth might result in 10 to 15 piglets, a mother who gives birth twice a year can account for at least 20 piglets, which when multiplied by 100 other moms equals 2,000 piglets. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Like and share the video with family and friends. Comment below and I will see you in my next video.